Hurry up, go into the store, go behind the register. Go, while you're down there. Oh! Men. Poppy, I thought you were- ah! Oh my god! 0.4% of players obtained the Platinum Trophy, Tape Master. Now, a lot of YouTubers have recovered the game, stay out of the house. I actually have never seen anything on it, and I love puppet combo games, and I love obtaining Platinum Trophies. So today, I'm going to show you all my funny moments and getting the Platinum Trophy. As soon as we start the game, we have many options. We can play Part 1, the Night Shift, Part 2, the Prologue, and Part 3, the House, and an even mystery one that we have to unlock in the House part. Now, this is my first time playing the game. I'm obviously going to play the beginning, and I'm kind of grateful for that because there's a bunch of trophies that we need on the Night Shift, which I didn't know about. So we get a bunch of difficulty selectors. We play the game on hard. I always play on hard because I'm a masochist. And we kind of get sort of bamboozled by our roommate in Part 1, the Night Shift. Where are you getting out? Six? Want me to pick you up? Yeah, it's too far to walk. <laughs> As if. I'll be conked out by then. I'll have a beer for you later. Have fun. Wait! I need a ride home, bitch! So as soon as you start the night shift, you can immediately, you can ignore clocking in, which is the best thing to do, and you can play the arcade cabinet, which is called the Power Drill Massacre. Now, you, the gimmick is you have to collect all these keys and then get to an exit, and well, this kind of took me a while to do this. I mean, like, way too long. There's a trophy here, and well, it took me a half hour to obtain this trophy. Oh, hell no, boy! Before we get into how we got the Platinum Trophy and everything, we need to rewind back in time before the comment section blows up my jaw. Back it up! Alright, you start the game off, your car broke down, and you gotta go to this factory for some reason. But the game starts off with two lives. You could be a bitch, and you can get the 98 lives if you go to this corner, or you could be a Giga Chad like I did. Wow, did I really say Giga Chad in the video? And beat it with two lives. Dip, dip. Megan has suffered an emotional shock. She will recover in a, cr a crisis center. You win. Oh, oh, I knew it was a trophy. I knew it was a trophy to beat this shit. Our next trophy that we're going to obtain is being a good worker. Yes, we have to be a slave to the 9 to 5 job. That revolves putting back items and sweeping. Funny enough, you could just sweep in the same spot over and over again. Like the camera's watching me like, why are you sweeping the one in for like 50 years? Let's go. Good employee, complete all your duties during the night shift. So we're gonna get a trophy right here, it's coming up. It's for dealing with these weirdo customers, mainly in specific, this one lady that comes into the store. Now if we treat her like an absolute scumbag, which you know I will, then you get a trophy for it. Oh, oh my man is gonna sweep. Hello? Do you want something? So this bit of me just ignoring the customer went on for way too long, so I'm gonna do a little skip here. This is some fucking Drake or something right now. Excuse me. Excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. I just need to get- EXCUSE ME! Huh? What's up? Hi. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. You're the quiet type? Not usually. Maybe sometimes? Why are you asking so many questions? Is there a problem? Is there a problem? <laughs> she dipped! <laughs> After getting the trophy a bad customer, I actually turn off the VHS filter because it destroys a bit rate, and we do a bit here. <laughs> Imagine the gas station click, bro. Not even doing any of that, just staring at the window. <sighs> Hello. I'm waiting for a customer right now. Where's the customer at? For some reason, this van pulls up, and I think I must have triggered like an Easter egg or something. I love that song that he's listening to. This is some Mariah Carey, I think. No, that's not Mariah Carey. Who is that? Let me know in the comments below. Actually, let me. 90% of you. 90% of you are not some. <laughs> If you want to be a, a big dick stud, smash that motherfucking <laughs> like button. After that terrible bit, um, you know what? I'm just going to show you what happens next. Oh. 
Oh my god, look how creepy that guy is. He just walked here. Oh no, 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 no. You're not. Lock the door, lock the door. You're not coming in the store. Get out of here. Get away from me. Nope, you're not coming in the store. Uh, there's a customer coming. Well, yeah. What, what is going on with this afro? <laughs> yeah, this customer asked all sorts of weird questions and he eyes us up the entire time. And of course, my goofy ass couldn't handle it. You've never seen that before? Look, I'm inside the register. Isn't that crazy? Dude, he's like, he's like, oh my god, I should never come here at 3 a.m. ever again, dude. Sir, I need your ID, though. That's a beer. Oh, okay. I need it. Sir, I, sir, I need your, sir, I need your ID, sir. Sir, is he gonna walk back home? <laughs> He walked back home. A little after the customer left, we actually go back to the stock room door because we heard something. And, well, the back door is just completely wide open for some reason. So, me being a complete coward, I hid in my little safety corner, magically sweeping the air, hoping that whatever happens would go away. I eventually got enough courage to go to the bathrooms, and then this whole ordeal transpired. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, fuck that. I'm getting chased by something. Oh, my God! Oh, oh! I fucking knew it! I knew it! Be hop, be hop, be hop, bad uh, dickhead. I broke his AI. I broke his AI. You got fucked. I broke your ankles like that, pop a combo. Oh shit! Oh shit! Wink at me. Look at him, look at him. He's getting tired. He's getting tired. In order to get the last trophy, we had to get captured by him. And I prolonged the hell out of it by breaking his ankles. But I eventually get captured by testing if my safety corner was safe enough. Get in that corner, get in that corner, get in that corner of safety. Ah, oh, he got me. <laughs> I don't care. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, the only reason he got me is because I left. <laughs> Now we are on chapter 2 to prologue. We awake to some guy named Brendan. He turns out to be our boyfriend, and we're playing as a woman named Roxanne. We are constantly sleeping on this road trip. One, because he's not good at conversationalist, and he goes to pee in this random bathroom in the middle of nowhere. Um, I don't know why. There's literally grass growing inside the walls. We find his driver's license out back, and well, I'm a coward. I was a coward in chapter 1, I'm a coward in chapter 2. I end up soft locking the game because of it. Yo, I actually got. I'm stuck. I broke the game. Fuck. <laughs> I got back in the car. God damn it. I gotta restart the game now because I just saw my myself. My dumb assery knows no bounds. For some reason, every time I play a game, I end up soft locking it. Anyway, we do a hard reset and we push through forward going through this field and we end up finding a cute doggy that we named Brendan the <gasps> Second. Is that a dog? <gasps> it's a dog. Look how cute he looks. That's a beautiful dog. <laughs> He's so pretty. Look at him. Look how cute that dog looks. Hello, doggy. Ew, look at the picture. <laughs> Brendan the second is probably the best part of this game. He ends up leading us to a church, and he must have been a pastor or something in his past life. And this is why I finally established that Brendan the first is dead. So now we need a Brendan 2.0, and that's him. Oh, bye, Brendan the second. You'll be missed. Where are you going? Well, I gotta follow him. Brendan the second is my shepherd. Brendan the second will lead the way. Brendan 2.0 is my lord and savior. We end up being led a second time by Brendan the second, where we find an abandoned car and a pamphlet. Whoa, I told you he led us. He's trying to spread the word of his religion. So we end up arriving at the house and Brendan the second is going crazy. For some reason the house, the door is wide open. I'm not sure why. And Brendan the second immediately runs in there. And I wasn't having it. I could not lose another Brendan, especially Brendan the second. Go in there. Brendan, no! You son of a bitch! Where are you? Where's my dog? Brendan, you okay? No, not the bear. Free my friend. I got you, Brendan. Get out of here, Brendan. Live, Brendan, live. Escape, Brendan. He went through the fucking wall. I told you. We end up heading up the stairs and we're seeing an old woman come after us. For some reason, she could be in a wheelchair and go down the stairs. And we get captured by the butcher, earning us a trophy. Worth it. I saved my dog. 
We wake later in a cage, seeing a TV constantly blaring some mumbo jumbo, and it is popping off about the most craziest things. Hey, being in love with my sister, being in love with my cousin, there's nothing wrong with that. There's gonna be a world. We're gonna have a new world order. The new world order is my cousin, and my cousin's cousin, and my sister's cousin, and my sister's sister. We can make love to one another. We can get married. We can have beautiful, beautiful children. We end up cringing so hard at this bit to the point where we get a trophy in the process. With our sister and our brother. Why should we not be beso- ah. I died of cringe. <laughs> Funny enough, that, that stupid bit got me two trophies. We got the sacrifice uh, ending, which actually gives you another trophy as well in the process. And to say, you just get sacrificed. That's it. That's all it is. In order to escape the cage, there's just a hole in it. So we just bend it over and over again until it snaps fully. And we find an old news article on a night shift abductor. And at this point, I turn the night shift abductor into spider-man while i'm reading it and i kind of you know i'll just show you it, it, it gets crazy as multiple times damn bastard spider-man with his beautiful cock and balls between custard county and its surrounding areas i all six abductions have been done by spider-man the victims were assaulted by spider-man with his big thick ass spider-man leave me <laughs> spider-man's the clap of spider-man's ass cheeks rendered him <laughs> Render the, the, the victim immobile. We end up finding a keypad code to unlock a little locker combination, and we get a screwdriver, which we can then go into the vents and progress further into the house. And well, I make the worst joke ever, so I'm going to subject you guys to it. Definition of literally, he's beating his meat. Not only do we have to worry about the butcher, we have to worry about the butcher's mob patrolling, cameras all over the place, trip wires, and everything like that. We end up finding a hammer along the way, and this hammer is very useful. We end up getting a gun in the process of it, and this gun is where we get majority of the trophies, which I'm going to have a little montage of that. But before then, there's survivors outside that involve the gun and a bunch of trophies. Hey, Grandma. Fuck you, bitch. Get the hell out of here, you dumbass. Fuck it, you stupid ass pamphlet. You're very welcome. <laughs> That's what you get for picking up the wrong groceries. Ah, I'm the real kid. He was just looking at me and he was baffled. He was like, You killed her? Why? Before I did all this, I actually saved the game so we could just reload it and go back and get all the trophies. And I really wish I did this to get the trophy to kill the mom. Oh, this is my favorite episode. The butcher has like a special room where he keeps a bunch of stuff, including a radar and a bear trap. We actually want the radar because we get a trophy and the bear trap. We need a trophy to catch the butcher in a bear trap. So we get the trophy for getting the radar. Okay, got the radar. Let's go. The radar trophy, not so exciting, but the bear trap one, well, uh, I kind of, I kind of butcher it. So I don't know how I managed that. Did I get him to step on this fucking bear trap? Come on, step on the bear trap. Step on that bear trap. Yes! Yeah, dickhead! The next trophy is called It's Alive. You end up getting it by just going into the baby's room. And, well, my first interaction with the baby ended up kind of like this. What the fuck? Is that baby? Is that a fucking baby, oh my god! We end up getting a bunch of trophies at this point. One for going outside, one for the butcher killing somebody, and one for rescuing somebody. I don't think there's any- Don't look back. I killed one of them! Ooh, don't worry, in no time I'll get you. Let's go, to the rescue. Our personal goal now is to save all the survivors, so I end up reloading a save, and we commence with our plan to save everybody. Alright, we have a goal in mind. Rescue everybody. I end up grabbing all the bear traps because it stunlocks the hell out of the butcher, meaning we can just run to the safe spot and 
get it that way. So we grind for bear traps. I shit you not, I grinded for bear traps like crazy. I put them in a little room, that way I had everything set up. I even made another save. In addition to it, we end up collecting all of the bear traps that we possibly could ever want in the process of doing so. And we put it in the spot where he spawns in this little metal way right here and it turns out and this makes you really mad like looking back on it i did all this work to save everybody and for some reason the butcher just was nowhere to be found like he steps on the bear trap that was the plan but it doesn't even matter it, ju it just doesn't matter so i finished planting the bear traps and i end up grabbing everybody i mean like everybody but we could only take two people at a time so it made things more complicated but it didn't really matter because the butcher was nowhere to be found and well yeah, we end up getting a trophy for rescuing people. The crouch. Alright, come on, boys. You're in here. Let's go. You're safe now. Alright. So, we are going to save the last two. Oh, uh, you can't save the cripple woman, so we're ignoring her. We save Hank and Deborah, who Deborah is the person we played as in the night shift. And they do, like, a little dance when they're stealthing. It's funny. Crab walk. Crab walk. Crab walk. Crab walk. Crab walk. Do the crab walk, do the do the crab walk, do the crab walk, do the do the crab walk, do the crab walk, do the do the crab walk. After rescuing everybody, we had to do somewhat something special to celebrate. So I subjected them to the worst thing I can possibly think of. You everybody's gonna watch TV then. Y'all are subjected to watching the most wonderful television show ever. I'm sorry little kids, but I'm a killer clown today. I could say bullets are gonna spray, I'm from Brooklyn, that's alright. But, let me just say, I like to get close and personal with a razor sharp object. But, let me just say this, I'm not gonna stab you in the heart. What I'm gonna do is grab a pen, stab you in the neck, puncture your lung. Yeah, Kyle, Kyle just let himself go. He he died to cringe. But more importantly, we enter the bunker. I looked up the keypad combination, and we get a trophy for entering the bunker, which is the next part of the game. Let's go, we're in a bunker. Ah, fuck, it's locked. Yeah, this is probably the weakest point in the game. There's a lot of puzzles that you have very little idea how to do, so I looked it up. You need these two keys for later, and then we get this weird computer puzzle that absolutely sucked. I just looked up a guide on the internet. Pretty much, the guy tells us to do a certain way, but we got harassed the entire time, which was so annoying. This is what the final part of the puzzle looks like. You just have to press X to move the part up. Okay, that's all you have to do then we get to another part where we're being harassed and we press these buttons right here which i also looked up as well and we blow up this reactor because apparently there's something deeper inside the bunker itself which we get to learn lore more lore and we get this cool countdown sequence where we had to rush out to escape the lower area and move these beams and we get kind of a little boss fight which i end up somehow cheesing it by just spam jumping on one of the beams and you had to pull the beams down, and then boom, you're over here, you're about to escape, everything's about to be good, and you actually end up do escaping, but everything seems amazing, right? No, you're wrong. You wake up in a bedroom, and yes, this is the mother ending. The mother ending, well, it's kind of different. Apparently, you had a parasite inside you the whole time. This was my first ending I got, by the way, so I had no idea what was going on. And we wake up in some Freddy Kill room, and we end up getting two trophies for beating the mother ending and beating the game on hard. Alright, now that you're in the bunker, you actually can go through this hallway. You follow this guy pretty much, uh, he phases through the wall, you end up getting hit again, and you get another ending. And this ending is not a sacrifice ending, it's called Rebirth. You get a trophy for that in the process. This one can be kind of bugged, but if you save all your bullets and just use the hammer for most of the ones you can get, you can get the trophy by destroying all the TVs, which we do. What? We end up getting another trophy for finding all the notes. We do the mother ending to beat the game on easy mode too. You need three batteries for the can opener, so that way you can use it on the can and get a key out of it, which is for the front door. I made it! Oh shit. Finally, we were almost free. Salvation was just right in the corner until we ran into him. Oh, you're gonna be shitting me. 
As he chased us over and over again, if you B hop, you could probably make it. We end up making it where we see the one guy from the beginning. Oh, it's him! My boy! He's gonna kill me! Do you wanna come inside? We get two trophies here. We can beat the game on medium difficulty, and we got the parasite ending. <laughs> The last trophy is photo mode, where you have to find a bunch of camera parts to get it. There's nothing online I could find about it. So I made a Reddit post about it. Yes, I went to Reddit of all places, but it actually was helpful. Shout out to these guys for finding it because we got the platinum trophy because of them. I got it. Let's go. Woo! Yeah, baby. But what about the survivors that we saved? What happened to them? Many of the people of the Butcher's home tried to escape. None did. Until one day, a woman named Roxen stumbled upon the Butcher's home. Roxen risked her life to save the victims of the Butcher. Nobody knows of what happened to Roxen. To this day, she is still missing. After being freed from the Butcher's trap, Brendan II would escape. Believing it to be the work of a higher power, Brendan II would create a new religion known as Barkistianity. Dogs would never fall victim to traps again. The Butcher's mother one day was watching TV and spotted Roxen. Before she could call for her son, she died at the hands of Roxen. Having found the fate of his mother, the Butcher decided it would be best to leave his home. The Butcher found himself collecting seashells and soaking up the warm sun of Florida. After being saved by Roxen and eventually escaping the house, Deborah would tell the police about the house, but the police did not believe her. Deborah decided it was best to leave her roommate high and dry for the rent and to quit her job. Deborah never worked the night shift again. Following the events of the Butcher's home, Hank was inspired by the things he had witnessed. Hank showed his loyalty to the Butcher by killing the crippled woman. The Butcher, with a hint of confusion and yet pride, recruited Hank into the family. After the Butcher left the house, Hank would take his identity, becoming the night shift abductor. Hank would take many lives. Another one of the people Roxen saved. Evelyn would unfortunately be unable to escape, having bonded with Hank during their time hiding. Hank would decide to spare her and recruit her to join his family. Having no other choice, Evelyn was forced to be a mother figure to the demon baby. Witnessing cringe, Kyle decided it would be best to just let the Butcher do what he wanted to him. Kyle was one of the Butcher's many victims. And so ends the tale of the Butcher's home. To this day people still go missing. Often never be found. Beware of the night shift. Oh my god, it's sick of money just put out there! We lost Dr. Combo, we gotta go, bro! <laughs> <laughs> you saved my life so many times. <laughs>